Oh god. Power decreased. Look out! Falling can result in power loss. Ooh, carbon eater activated. Carbon eaters help to clean up the air. Interesting. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today we're going to be checking out a new Apple Arcade game called Doomsday Vault. This game has just been released this previous week and um, I was really curious to test it out and see what it's all about. Apparently this is going to be a puzzle platformer and I did play it just a little bit just to get a hang of it and I gotta tell you it's pretty interesting. But if you guys enjoy this and you want to see me continue playing this, um, why don't you let me know down in the comments, I would really love to hear what you feel. And also make sure you hit on that like button down below, as that would also make it clear to me that you guys really enjoy this type of games and you want to see more. Alright, let's just uh, jump straight into the game here and see what this is all about. Before we do that though... Now, the music, I think I'm gonna go with something lower here, just so that you guys can hear myself. Right, let's go, let's play. So we got Flooded City. Rising sea waters forces the inhabitants of the city to seek higher ground. Search the city for few remaining plants that are able to sustain themselves here. Interesting. All right, let's jump straight into this. Find seed one. Oh, I get it, so this is area one, and in here we got multiple seeds that we gotta look for. Okay, let's go for area one then. Holy crap, this looks awesome. This looks really good. Alright, let's go. Use LR to rotate. Uh huh, I get it. This is how you rotate. And the character is simply gonna escalate stuff by himself. Oh god. Power decreased. Look out! Falling can result in power loss. Huh. Oh, this is gonna recharge, I guess. Yeah, look at this. Power pickup. Find power pickups to recharge your power. Interesting. Alright, and we have a nutrient here. Nutrients pickup. Nutrients help you grow crops in your vaults. Huh. Okay, so apparently there's nothing back there. Uh, let's keep going then. So we got an object here. Use X to pick up an object. Use X to place an object. Okay, so we can pick up and drop stuff. Is there anything else left around here? No, that's about it. Let's try to scale this and keep going this way. Ooh, that was close. Hmm. Can we maybe get back down there though? Because I think I saw some nutrients. Oh yeah, look at this, there's definitely some nutrients here. And this is a large one. Anything else back here? Hmm, it does look like we can go on this platform, but... Yeah, nothing hiding here. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Oh crap, if we go through there, we're gonna fall and break our neck, maybe. <laughs> uh, because of that, so let's just go back then, through where we came from. Right now, this game is uh, pretty relaxing. As you know, I really enjoy playing puzzle games, and this one is pretty different and pretty at the same time. I actually really enjoy it. Um, I don't know, if you guys enjoy this as well, why don't you let me know? I would really love to know what you guys feel about this game. Have you even uh, tried it, at least, so far? Have you downloaded it? I mean, I just heard about it coming out, and I really wanted to check it out. At the moment, I'm really, really enjoying games on, App on Apple Arcade, and... And not to mention that a lot of the games first come out on Apple Arcade, then they come out on Steam and stuff like that. So, being able to jump on them first and feature them, feature them on the channel is definitely something I am enjoying here. Alright, come on buddy. So yeah, that being said, I would love to know what you guys feel about this game. Because if you guys enjoy it, I'm definitely gonna bring some more episodes of this and create a whole series. Right, I don't think I need that. 
let's just scale this up here and see what this is all about. Pick up and move the carbon eater to the power outlet. I'm guessing here? Ooh, carbon eater activated. Carbon eaters help to clean up the air. Interesting. Alright, anything else back here? I mean, we do have a box. And that seems to be all. I don't know if I need this box or not, but let's just take it with us. And see if we need it anywhere. I mean, we definitely need to place the box right here. And actually, I think I need another one. Let's just grab this one here. Okay, so far the puzzles are pretty easy, but pretty awesome as well. I really enjoy this. There we go. I think we need 10 more of these carbon thingies. Oh, hold up. We already reached the plan, the seed. Use X to pick up the seed and finish your mission. Uh, the thing is... Hold up, I don't want to go there. I want to finish up this, this level completely. Uh, I believe we gotta find one more of these... Carbon elements. And I have a feeling it should be right back here. Or never mind, it's actually up here. There we go. Alright, so we got this level uh, completed 100%. Now, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this for every single level. But I'm definitely gonna try, because if you guys don't know me yet, I am a completionist. And I really enjoy finishing up games 100%. Look at this, this looks awesome. Carry on. Alright, so we got ourselves a coconut palm. Hmm. The coconut tree is useful in every way. The flesh of the nut provides a nutritious food, and the juice is a healthy first quencher. Oil from the nut can be used for cooking as a healing salve and even to make biofuel. The husk of the nut can be made into ropes and bending and the nutshells can be carved into bowls and utensils. The tree truck can be made into furniture and the palm fronds make great thatching. You couldn't get a more handy plant. That's awesome. Uses food, medical, construction and shelter. I wonder if we're gonna be able to start constructing shelters and stuff like that. That would be awesome. Anyway, uh, so we got ourselves a coconut palm. What can we do with it? Oh, I didn't want to come here. We already have this one. Uh, crap. Hold up. Can we go to respawn, resume, quit? Okay, there we go. So now that we have this coconut... What is this? Oh, okay, so now that we have the coconut, we can go inside our base, I'm guessing, right? Vault crops. Coconut palm. So this is where we're gonna plant it. You found the seed. Push the button to grow the crops from it. Grow one plant for every 10 nutrients. Oh wow, okay. What? No way, look at this! <laughs> Seriously, this is so awesome. We're growing palm trees. That is so cool. Are we gonna be able to get the coconut from them? That would be interesting. I wonder if we go back in that level, are we gonna be able to get ourselves some more palm trees? You need to wait for the nutrients to regenerate before we can grow more crops. Hmm... You know what? What if we... Hold up. What if we go into... How can I go back then? The vault is where you grow crops from the seeds you have collected. I mean, I already know that. Um, what I'm wondering is... How can I go back and start looking for some more crops? For, for some more seeds? If we quit this... Going to play, going to the flooded city. I mean, we could go and try to find ourselves another seed. You know what? Yeah, let's just go and do that. Why not? Let's look at the different area here. Interesting. Okay, so first of all, we got this thingy. We gotta find the battery for it, though. Um. Yeah, let's just take this with us first. And see where we gotta take it to. Alright, so nothing here. Here's the battery placement. Alright. So we just turn this thing on. I'm 
pretty sure we gotta leave it here. I think we gotta find one more of these uh, air fresheners, <laughs> whatever they're called. Okay, we got a box. Ooh, I think I need the box in order to pass through there. Let's just see. There we go. And we got it. Uh, could we maybe grab this? Oh, we can grab it and use it elsewhere as well if you want to. And that's exactly what we need to do. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, buddy. Let's grab this as well and take it with us some more. Maybe we actually need it. Alright, we got a huge button. Ooh, hold up. I just found myself some stuff. Come on, buddy, just drop it. There we go. So let's just grab all the stuff. We need 90 more, though. Stand close to a button and use the X button to press it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna take the box with me. Just in case I need it. And actually, I have a feeling I kind of need it right here. Oh, be careful. Bringing it underwater uses power. I get it. So we gotta go under here. Grab this. And it doesn't look like there's anything else that we need. That's really interesting. Uh, well, let's just get ourselves some more energy back. Nothing here, nothing there. Hmm, we're gonna have to go underwater again. So let's see, I saw there's some more of this stuff in here. Oh god, the energy is going down quite a bit. That's insane. Alright, energy back up. Let's keep going. So this place looks like a restaurant or something, like a mall maybe. Oh no, hold on, hold up, buddy. We need this. There we go. So we got 45 so far. Alright, we are gonna need the box here. Nobody, come on, grab it. There we go. And I may just grab this thing back up because we are gonna need this one in order to keep going. Hmm, I think I may need it to the other side. I know I can go in the water. The thing is, before I go in the water, I need to make sure there's an energy pack around here somewhere. Oh, and there is, because we have... 55 energy left. I mean, could I maybe grab this out of the water with the energy we have currently? Let's just try, why not? I think we can, I think we can do this. Okay, there we go, we got it. And right now, we're gonna be able to get ourselves a full health. Or at least the health here is represented by the power we have. Right, there we go. Hmm. The thing is, these power packs that we keep finding, they don't really charge us completely, they give us an, a certain amount of energy. Because at the moment we just got it and we got we had 90 energy. Alright buddy, let's just go this way then. We have to find the battery, not the battery actually, we have to find this thing. Plug it in. And see what's gonna happen next. Because this one is gonna be the second one that we had to find and connect to the battery. And connect to the power outlet. Look at that, all carbon eaters activated. Perfect. Uh, what else? Now I don't really see any other place we could go other than these stairs. So let's just go all the way here. Grab extra battery. Hmm. I mean, I found the plan that we need. The problem is... I may need to find myself some more of those green thingies. Oh, there we go. There's one. And we have to find one more. Crap, we're getting quite low on energy here. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy, come on, buddy, hurry up. 
Yeah, there's nothing back here, unfortunately. Anyway, let's just go and grab the plant. Uh, doesn't like we can do anything here. Yeah, let's just grab the plant, whatever. Banana saved! Awesome, look at this. And I think this is gonna be a banana palm. Bananas are nutritious and delicious food, and each fruit comes in its own convenient portable case. As well as providing valuable car carbohydrates, they contain several vitamins and elements that are important for the human body. A banana plant's enormous leaves make good umbrellas and are also useful for wrapping things in, including for cooking. There are many medication uses for the flowers, sap, and leaves. Awesome! So this thing is good for food, shelter, and medicine. Perfect! So if we go back our shelter, let's try to plant this one. Uh, banana. So the first one was coconut palm, this is gonna be the banana. Let's see, let's grow this one. Let's see how these look. Wow, these look amazing! Look at that! Freaking banana palms. That is awesome. And I see that they are actually regenerating. Find more nutrients to increase how many crops are grown each time. Hmm. So where are these things that we keep growing here being taken to? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. And I'm not quite sure what I gotta do in order to get these things. I wonder if I go now all the way to, let's see, to the first area, to the flooded city here, and back in the coconut palm. If we find ourselves some more seeds for the coconut, could we maybe keep on planting them? That's definitely something I'm really curious about. So let's just go all the way back here. And see if we can get ourselves some more of these seeds. Alright buddy, I know. We've already done this one before, we are all good. There we go. So we gotta move this one aside. Climb through here. Now we're definitely not able to find the nutrients anymore in this level. So because of that, we're definitely gonna be able to go back at the banana area. So that we can try to find the last nutrient we had there. Alright, there we go. And grab this. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? There we go. <laughs> There's a little bit of delay when I'm pushing the button to pick up stuff. That's why I keep dropping it and picking it back up. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to go back. All I have to do is... Do that instead. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and there's a seed. Now, let's see, if we grab this, can we now take it all the way back home? To add more of those palm trees? Let's just see. Alright, perfect. So now we have... 10 coconut palms. And yep, I was right. We can actually add some more palm trees. Wow. That's interesting. So I believe that now we have 20 of these guys. Hmm. Yep, look at this. We got 20 coconut palms. Alright, well, you know what, guys? I think we're definitely gonna have to end up this episode right here for now. And in the next one, if you guys enjoyed this, of course, and you want to see more, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys do enjoy this and want to see more, I am going to go back into the next episode and go for seed 3 here. Try to solve some more of these puzzles and get some more seeds into our vault. Alright, well, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching the video so far. This has been Doomsday Vault. And once again, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more, a like would be much appreciated. And if you guys are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!